guys back again for another tool video you know I try to relate all these tools to motorcycles specifically but some of these tools you can use for anything uh, they'll be good for using for your automobile or anything like that this one is specific to motorcycles now if you don't have one of these not a big deal you can make your regular vice with some rubber work but this is going to be a huge help when you're working on your front forks all right so this is a motorcycle suspension vise specifically for forks um, i suppose you could use it to rebuild your your shocks your rear shocks as well here's the vise part of it this is where you would stick the fork tube comes with a handle stick in there when you're prying on something to get it loose these little pieces I'll show you where they go that this as well as a this is this is the entire reason that I wanted this tool specifically it wasn't cheap but this little pan this pan is what you drain the fluid into when you're working on your forks this is a huge help you don't have to have a bucket around to try to dump it you can open it up and dump it right in here and drain it out when you're done you know when you're working on forks no matter what you're doing there will be some residual in there so until you get that fork tube completely cleaned out there is going to there is going to be some residual that's why i wanted that pan here's the main body so this here will mount to a table or whatever you want to mount it to so then this would mount to here so if you plan on doing your own forks or anything like that this is going to be a huge help you don't have to put it in the vise with some rubber and possibly risk damaging the powder coat on the fork tube or scratching or damaging the clear coat finish that's on the forks from the factory for harley so this here you can have the tube sticking in here like this or you can turn this loosen this bolt up back here and you can turn it so it's sideways so if you need to break that fork cap loose or whatever you can turn it in any position that you want it makes it easier for you to work on so then this this tray can go on the back with this like if you're letting your fork tube drain you can set your tube in here on this and it'll continue to drain while you work on the next fork or if you're draining the fluid out you can put it it's got two two positions so you can dang it so you can put it like this or you can put it like that and it does have little trays for parts which is pretty nice there is the drain for the pan these here will go down in here like this to hold this so if you're working on inverted forks or something and you need to keep it in a certain position you could put that fork onto here just like this pretty nice tool it's not cheap it's like 300 bucks um, but in my opinion it's well worth the money because you're not going to risk damaging any parts because of these jaws and how they function now it does have 
a few settings here. This is how you open the vise. So you can move this. There should be, I think it's three positions. Yep, so there's three positions on here. So the large portion of this vise can hold 40 millimeter to 61 millimeter. So the small side of this vise can hold 16 to 34 millimeter fork parts, tubes, whatever. So if you need to take off your a nut off the thing or uh, off the rod of the fork, you can put this in here and it'll help pull it. So this here is part number 080628. You can get these almost anywhere. This one I purchased on Amazon from MC Motorsports, I believe. But this is gonna be a huge help when rebuilding the front forks on the road glide or any other bike that I have. Do you need this? No. Are there cheaper tools out there to do a similar function yep uh, I would recommend not using the old style vise with rubber or wood, wood whatever you want just for the fact that this is gonna hold it so much more securely than that one will because those jaws are flat they're only made to hold the two surfaces that's it this is made to hold it on four points so it's secure and tight in there and not damaging anything because these are aluminum soft jaws. All right, so there you have it guys. This is the Motion Pro suspension vise. Here I got it mounted solid to this table. This is what I was talking about for, you can set the fork end against this and have it up in here tighten so you can bleed it do whatever you need to do this like I showed earlier super simple and it's open adjusting is easy this will self-center itself here's the handle and you take it in any position there's a nut, there's a bolt back here that you can loosen up so this will stay in place better or firmer. Right there, right there. flat again and then it has those all the way around the tray so if you're draining your fork out in here great tool to have expensive but a must-have if you're gonna do forks putting it in a vise a regular vise like the one I have over here like this one this shouldn't be an option for you putting the rubber or wood whatever you can damage your forks that way so get one like this or there are cheaper options OTC makes one it's about $149 it doesn't have this drain pan was the exact reason that I bought this one because of the simple fact I can drain the fork out and then I can put it back here, put it in this spot right here, and let that fork drain. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Thanks guys.